So yeah, Soul Burst Dakuda's Electro Blast is basically a delete button. As long as the other person doesn't have an Earth type or a bulkier plant type Lumion, yeah, good luck switching in. Okay then, hopping into the first battle, we're gonna be a little bit careful, they do have an Earth type, so uh, yeah, we can't just go unga bunga, click Electro Blast, and basically just delete something from the entire battle, so we gotta be a little careful. Well, I don't see any entry hazarders on their side of the team, and it looks like they might not have anything to get rid of my entry hazards, so yeah, I could just go for a Barbs here. I mean, they're most likely gonna click what? Slap down into Shadow Sprint? Most likely. Yeah, I'll, I'll get one layer of Barbs. It's still worth saving the Gobidemic close, so we might swap out this turn because Health Gift is really nice, because we're running a very speedy Dakuda for this battle, and then the next battle we're going to go over a more bulky one. So Health Gift is really nice into Dakuda to try and get all of our health back. So we could switch out here. Uh, I just don't really have a great switch. Gargolem doesn't really want to switch into priority, has no defenses. I guess Imperior is my only switch. Uh... Yeah, your soul's really, really strong against my team. I'm not a big fan of that. Shell sprint, yep, that's fine. We are gonna get burnt. I guess we could just go for the barter. I mean, what's realistically their switch? We could go for barter, but I feel like I'd rather go for shoe blast just to deal damage to the your soul if it stayed in. But it's gonna be Boneki. Okay, that's, that's great, that's great, that's great, that's great. If we can just remove this thing, I can just unga bunga click electro blast. Okay, I am completely fine with this. Let's just go for the Dark Surge. Not gonna think about it, okay? Not at all. They do go for Nature's False. I mean, that hopefully will knock me out, but I feel like it won't. Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Well, at least we get the Dark Surge off. That'll do a lot of damage. Oh, actually, it's knocked out. Okay, nice. So, we're still really fast. They should go back into your soul here and just click priority. They're only gonna lose four health. Oh, actually, no, it's into Halvantic. We could save the Imperior, in theory. We could save the Imperior and just bring it in later, like something to sacrifice, I guess. And, oh, technically, I guess we could also go for Health Gift into Imperior. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's, uh, yeah, let's try and save it. I mean, we have uh, your snack. I mean, I kind of brought it for the Halvantic, the uh, Galosh and the bar badger so let's try and use it there's baneful okay love to see that and i love to see that you didn't uh, poison me that would have really sucked but yeah we just go for the baffle immediately nuts gonna think about it okay they do go for the withdrawal into novadeus okay um fire and ice we could go into dakuda and just fire off a soul bursted tsunami that will do a lot of damage. The issue is it could just deep freeze us, which would be pretty annoying. Gargolem could also just switch in and just deal a butt ton of damage, but I think it is Dakuda's time. We shouldn't get one shot by deep freeze. We can throw off a soul bursted uh, tsunami, which will do a lot of damage, potentially even just knocking it out. This thing is not greatest bulk in the world. Um, and yeah, I mean, if we do don't one shot it, and uh, we take a little bit of damage. I can always health gift into it, so probably my best option. Or actually, wait, would, would Electro Blast just do more? Oh, so um, they're actually pretty close. I think Electro Blast does a little bit more damage. Uh, I don't really want to waste it low against Novadeus. We'll just use Tsunami. It's basically like the same damage range, so yeah, we'll just Tsunami, okay? And uh, yeah, I'm praying for a one shot. I feel like we should outspeed it, unless it's boots. Although they have a lot of potential boot users. I mean, Halvantic could also be a boot user, so... Gotta be a little careful. But we are running max speed, so yeah, I was just gonna hope that we outspeed it. And yeah, one-shot it. I gotta save my soul move. Okay, Halvantic is back. I mean, we're just gonna go back into your snack and do the exact same play, man. I don't care. We could actually go into Imperior first. Okay, hear me out to scout out. Because I don't want my tank to break immediately, right? So, yeah, Imperial's done its job. Yeah, I could health gift into it, but I'd rather health gift into my showcase -y. So let's just sacrifice and fit in, uh, Imperial. Because if they did click Primal Slash, they would have broke my tank. And then they could have uh, done a lot of damage. Also, uh, yeah, that is aggressive. This has to be a boot user. This has to be. 
Uh, the issue is low. I actually don't know if I'm going to outspeed at minus one. Okay. I'm just going to click baffle. I'm just really hoping I don't get critical hit here. Nice. That does like no damage. It's like plus one. Okay. So if this boots, that basically cancels out its um, decrease and increase. Like boots will give it plus one basically. And then that minus one will take it back down to neutral. So because my decoder is nimble, if this is a very brawny Halvantic, I will outspeed it. If it's nimble brawny, it'll outspeed me. But if it is boost, it should just be locked into primal slash, which I don't think will one shot me even at plus one. It's not getting stab. It's not getting an increase from its ability. The only thing it's going to boost from is this plus one and it might critical hits. Okay, let's go for the withdraw. Okay, so I did a lot of planning for nothing. I mean, that's fine. Our budget switches in. I mean, this is going to do a lot of damage to it, low. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. And we still have my soul move as well. Uh, we don't really want to take any damage from the bar badger. Uh, I think we just go back into your snack. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this at all. And yeah, this is actually a way better matchup for your snack anyway. We resist ice and we're immune to um, what you call it. Uh, um, Rogue Assault. So yeah, Clay Slap is like the only move he has to hit me. Uh, we could actually just go for the Heartbreak. There's not really any point to baffle on this. Heartbreak should just potentially knock it out. Honestly, yeah. I, th I think we'll just try and go for the knockout on Bar Badger. Ice Hammer, yep. Yeah, not gonna complain about that. Doesn't do any damage, like nothing. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay, nice. Bar Badger's down. Okay, your soul. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot about your soul. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. I really, really don't. The only thing I can think of is to sacrifice Gobidemic to get Gargolem in to click an air type move. That is it. But then if he just goes to Halvantic and just predicts me going for that, I mean, we're, we're so screwed. We are so, so screwed. Um, um, we could just sacrifice Gobidemic going to the Kuda instead fire off. I mean, Tsunami should do more damage than our Soul Move. Our Soul Move isn't really going to be, like, super useful anymore, to be honest. Yeah, as much as I want to save Gobidemic for the Health Gift, I mean, we have to basically sacrifice something. I guess we could have, in theory, sacrificed uh, Garagolum, but this is just going to, like, win late game, if I can keep it on full health. Okay, then, into the Kuda. I think we just... Oh, I, I forgot about Gamma Pulse. I'm not going to lie. Completely forgot about Gamma Pulse. Uh, not boosted by Stab or my ability, but this does still do a lot of damage. So, please knock it out. I mean, yeah, we outspeed it. Your soul is generally pretty bulky and melee attack invested. Pep jab. Okay, we're looking good. We shouldn't get fainted by a priority move, so we just go for Gamma Pulse again. We are running out of energy, low. I don't have enough energy to click Tsunami against the Halvantic. Is the only issue I'm going to face now. I have to click Gamma Pulse to get rid of the Urusol, obviously. Quick Punch, we should live that. We're so low on health, low. We're so low. Okay, and there's the Halvantic. Okay, let's think about this a little bit. This is their last Lumion, so it doesn't matter what I do. Garagolum should win. <laughs> it doesn't matter how bad, I, how badly I mess this up. I should be able to win. I am fortunately low. Just fall energy off of just clicking um, my tsunami, which is so unfortunate. So unfortunate. I think the best thing to do here is just to sacrifice the Kuda. I mean, but I, I'm I'm gonna try and go into your snack. I'm going to go Eurosnack to try and go for the baffle. He should just click Primal Slash here, like, without a doubt. Just click Primal. Right. Yeah, Primal. Okay. Uh, we might potentially live a Primal Slash from this health. I'm going to try and baffle it if this works. I mean, he's also practically out of energy. Okay, I just get knocked out. I mean, he's so low on energy. What's the chances of him having enough energy to click one more move? Pretty low. I don't think that's enough energy. I guess we just click our uh, soul move here, I guess. It is resisted. 
but uh, I want to use it. <laughs> I want to use it, so I'm gonna do it. I guess we'll see low. Yeah, it doesn't have enough energy, it just goes for the flail, which is actually surprising. Okay, it knocks me out. Very unfortunate. I didn't get to use my soul move, damn it, but I mean, yeah, Dakota did a really, really good job here. So yeah, I mean, you could say I messed it up royally, but we got Gargolem in the back, so it really doesn't matter. We just click Landslide, and that's the game. Let this guy down to rest. Yeah, there's nothing Helvantic could really do here. I mean, it, to, to him, it probably looked like I did have enough energy to click Tsunami. And also, what I could have just done, like, I guess if I just didn't Soul Burst, I could have just always potentially just outsped more things, which is also another thing. Like, the Bar Badger, I probably would have outsped since that isn't the boot user. Okay, then. Hopping into the next battle, we're now using a bulky Soul Burst Dakota. And I've actually hopped a few battles because I was specifically looking for a Soul Burst Eryptodon. I have still invested a little bit of speed to outspeed very smart Soul Burst Eruptodons. It looks like we don't have any way to get rid of Entry Hazards or to set them up, unless their Booner um, changed into my Gobademic, which is why I didn't lead off with it. Although, I don't know why I led off with Nova Deus. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Don't know why I decided Nova Deus was my lead. Should have let off a Euro snack thinking about it. I have no switch-ins to this. Basically, something on my team is gonna faint, and we can probably assume that this thing also has boots. I have made a grave, grave mistake. <laughs> okay, Gobademic, I am sorry. I don't think um it's not boots. It has to be boots, right? There's no way like you run Boonery and don't put boots on it. So yeah, uh sorry about this, Gobademic, but we kind of need you to like take um a hit with your clutch plus she to lower its stats. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I know that Nova Deus was really, really big when you're the one using it, but it's kind of uh, overwhelming when the opponent has it. It's just towering over you. What the heck? Yeah, I think the smartest play is just to get some damage on the Nova Deus. And yeah, they collect a Draco beam again. I think it's safe to say it's definitely boots. But hey, at least all of this like energy is practically gone now. Well, um, my Garagolem should be able to outspeed it, which will also let them know that I am boot. So, uh, yeah, not the smartest uh, play I've done leading off with Nova Deus. I am really regretting my decisions, but uh, it is what it is. At least we took it out, finally, although I had to sacrifice Gobademic. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's the Eruptodon. Why would you swap into a Gargolem, low? I have no idea what your plan is. This is probably a really dumb idea. Like, your snack is definitely better against something else on the team, but I'm going to switch into it now. I'm assuming it's just going to use its soul move, right? I would assume soul move. Okay, Lena Ruptodon, what are you going to do? Uh, also, if it is Nimble Smart, I think... It will outspeed my, uh, I mean, it should outspeed my um, Dakuda if it's Nimble Smart max speed. But, um, I mean, I guess it's not like the biggest deal breaker to try and outspeed Soul Burst Riptodon because it's not really going to do that much to us, right? Like, not that, that much. Either way, I'm just going to click Baffle here. Could also just go Nova and just fire off a Draco Beam and then maybe they go back into ripped it on afterwards yeah I'll, I'll do this I'll, I'll do this not gonna think about it just gonna fire for draco beam we could have gone for a deep freeze which is also super effective but this is just gonna knock it out immediately yep don't have to worry about it okay so looking pretty good yes shell is kind of overkill most likely definitely but i'm still gonna use it oh joltuv is actually coming in um yeah, I mean, we don't necessarily need Nova Deus anymore, so we could just fire off another Draco Beam, and if we critical hit, it just dies. I believe, Nova Deus, I believe. Okay, come on. No! Uh, no! How could you, Nova Deus? Okay, I get a live one, and Hellstorm is over now. I'm clicking it again. I, I'm, I'm not learning my lesson, but I'm clicking it again. So if we actually hit that first one... We definitely would have knocked it out. I mean, we 
We'll get down to one shot at minus two. That is nuts. That is so nuts. <laughs> what, have, what have I created? What, what have I done? <laughs> okay. Anyway, we can just go into the Kuda here and just fire off. Uh, I think we should just fire off a Tsunami. Even though we could just click Gamma Pulse just to uh, save some energy. But if they are going to switch out, I'd rather just hit something with Stab. So, yeah, I'm clicking Tsunami. I mean, definitely outspeed the Jolt. There's no shot. Even if this thing is Boots? Nah, if it's Boots, it probably outspeeds me. But still, who's going to run a Boots Jolt if that doesn't really make sense? Okay, now go into Warptodon. Nice. We should outspeed it. Okay. Actually, wait, this letter lasts... Okay, no, I have another Lumion. Well, I'm just gonna click a Tsunami. I think we live a hit from Eruptodon anyway. Fire moves, we resist. Earth moves are neutral, although it does get a stab increase now for, like, Landslide. And Gamma Pulse is also neutral, not stab. So, yeah. Uh, well... I am not gonna complain about that. I really want to use my, uh, I, I, I'm not going to click Soul Burst, though. I'm not going to click Soul Burst, unfortunately, with this battle, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to click Tsunami again, because I can click it twice. <laughs> okay, Soul Burst to Kuda, but we don't click Soul Burst. <laughs> I'll probably have to do another battle, but, uh, yeah. I mean, we should also be this uh, erupted on now. Eh, it's very smart. As long as it's not nimble max speed, we should outspeed it. I guess you could also run a little bit more speed into it to outspeed the nimble one. Or I guess you could also just run nimble yourself. I am running smash on the slow. Anyway, Tsunami. Uh, should knock it out. I don't see why it wouldn't. Right? I'm pretty sure it should knock it out, please. Yep, and we do outspeed it. Okay, nice. And see you later. Soul Burst to Kudo Showcase, but we don't Soul Burst. <laughs> I'm gonna hop into another battle, but at least I showed off the fact that it has speeds are ripped on, soul burst ripped on, before you soul burst. Okay, then, hopping into the next battle, I see another ripped on. This time I wasn't actually trying to specifically find one, and uh, yeah, the majority of this guy's team is actually pretty slow. A little then, soul burst. Actually, could be soul burst, or all ripped on. I kinda don't really mind either of them, though. Okay, this is actually one of the rare instances where um, I'm not actually bringing Gobidemic to a battle because this guy has fish Ghana. Doesn't really seem worth it. Although, I don't know why I let up a Your Snack. Your Snack lead is generally never good. The only like instance here where it would have been good is if you let up with Zero Knight. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. Not really sure what to do. I mean, this is a bulky uh, plant type, so I guess, if we're being honest, the best course of action is just to go into Imperior on the Nova Blast and just get rid of it. That should kill me, right? There's no way that doesn't. Okay, N nice. Not gonna complain about that. See you later, Holly Bunch. See you later. It's actually a best case scenario, so I'm trying to think about his team. I don't think he had. Um, an Earth type. So the only other thing on this team that can just like switch into my soul move is Terry Desson, I think. Either way, this looks like a pretty good time to actually go into my Dakota. Oh, and they brought Stratosaur. Yo, what's that Stratosaur? Um, I want to say that this is most likely going to be their soul burst. I don't necessarily need to Thunder Strike, but. I mean, I necessarily don't need to Soul Burst, I could just Thunder Strike, but if I do Soul Burst, I just take no damage, basically, from all of Strasol's moves, so I think I will go for the Soul Burst here. I don't know if I want to Electro Blast. I will Electro Blast. I don't think it stays in. I think it's going to go for the Withdraw into Terror. Your Soul. Okay, yeah, I mean, this is fine. We could have gone for a Gamma Pulse, but thinking about... All of his team, I mean, Terra Destin can switch into my soul move and your soul, so might as well just get it out of the way because it's not really that useful for the Stratosaur. Wonder Strike already one shots it anyway. Okay, overcharged Dakuda. Freaking nuke the your soul, okay. I mean, this is still gonna do like a lot of damage, even though it is resisted. And then we can just go for Gamma Pulse and we should just be able to knock this thing out. I'm pretty sure. 
It does over half damage. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. It really is just a delete button. <laughs> if you think about it, it really is. Okay, Gamma, we should outspeed it unless it's max speed your soul, but why would you run max speed on your soul when you can just run it bulky? So, yeah, just gonna click Gamma Pulse. We go for another withdraw. Into all this time. Terry? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. This Gamma Pulse will do a decent amount to it. Not a lot, a lot. Uh, you're most likely going to go for a drudge now. I can't really stop that. So, yeah. Your snack. Okay, let's switch into your snack. And baffle on it. I guess he could click a drudge twice, which would be really, 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 really scary. There is the drudge. Uh, Imperia would also be a and a nice to uh, sacrifice against the terror so I don't get swept. So, oops. I'm just going to go for the baffle low. He goes for primal. Okay, I live that 100%. He should have actually gone for a nuller drudge. Um, he should have actually... I, I want to call it greedy I, if it's a smart play. Because uh, now I can just go into Nova and just fire off a Draco beam and just get rid of the terror. Uh, I guess he could have also switched into Stratosaur here, so I could have gone for the Fire Breath, but too risky. It was Draco. They do go for the draw. Damn it. And it is Stratosaur, right? No, oh, I should have Fire Breathed. I should have. Oh, well. Even though this is resisted, and Stratosaur is very ranged tanky, with the shell and our ability, that's still a lot of damage. That's still a lot of damage. Okay, we go for the withdrawal into the coup de nail. Uh, we resist air moves, we resist metal moves, and Gamma isn't going to do that much to us. They do go back into Terry low. That's a very good prediction on their part. Uh, I think we just go back into your snack. The exact same play. We already know that we can tank a plus one um, light move from Terry. So we just keep doing this play here. Yeah, it goes for the Drudge again. Yep, it's the exact same play. They should click Drudge again. Th they should click Drudge again. That is, like, the best thing they should do. Because they know I'm just going to go back into um, Nova Deus this time. Okay, Hyper Sting. Okay. I mean... Oh, no, actually, I think last time, like, Primal slashed against me. So, I mean, it's still roughly about the same damage. Now I just do that again. Um, or do I go into Garagolem this time? Uh, well, they've wasted my, um, they, they have wasted my shell. So I don't think Draco Beam is actually enough to KO this anymore. Um, but it's still pretty good damage. So I'm going to click it anyway. I could, I guess I could have also gone for a piece of mines, but it is what it is. They do stay in this time. I missed. I missed. I missed. Really? You're gonna do me like that? I mean, he's out of energy, I guess. So I get a fire off two Draco beams still, which is fine. Okay, good damage, please. Yeah, still really, really good damage. And even though we're at minus two, this should still be enough to KO it. Uh, with the health, I'm a little low. It might, it might be a roll. Might be a roll. I, I think I'll KO it low still. They do good just go for the withdrawal. Okay, back into strap. Yep, that is fine. I mean, this time we can just go back into the Kuda, and I mean, we can just get rid of Terry Descent now, so I feel like you probably should have done that like a couple of turns ago. I'm just going to go back into the Kuda. Not going to think about it. We can just sacrifice Nova Deus now whenever we don't really need it for the rest of the battle. And there is Taze, we're electric, so who cares? So, wait. This isn't their soul burst, so I'm assuming they just either didn't bring Eruptodon, or Eruptodon is their soul burst. Uh, anyway, we will go for... I actually want to click Energize, I'm not going to lie. I really want to click Energize. I'll just Thunder Strike. I mean, it isn't the end of the world if Terry comes in. It's actually your soul. Uh, I could have gone for... Could have gone for Gamma Pulse. Oh, that actually just kills. <laughs> okay. Okay. I honestly, I thought it would have lived at like one. I thought, oh, I'm going to waste some energy using Gamma Pulse now. But no, it actually takes it out. So what? Terry, Strassel. They have got one more. No idea what it is, though. 
Uh, we just go for our Gamma Pulse here. We just take this trade, right? Yeah, I think we just take this. We just trade hits. Oh, Parasitize is going to heal it low. Not going to do much, but it means it is going to live the Gamma Pulse. Now I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, that is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay, they actually go for the withdraw. Into strats. Well, I'm glad I didn't waste energy, but I went into your snack uh, to try and waste their energy. So we both had the same plan, I guess, just to waste each other's energy. <laughs> I mean, sure, sure. I'm going to go for the baffle. Not going to think about it too much. Perch. Yeah, that's whatever. I mean, we just go back into uh, Dakuda now and just click Thunderstrike. I mean, looking pretty good, right? I mean... Terry can't really switch in, it should just faint to Thunderstrike, and whatever your last Lumion is should just take a big chunk from Thunderstrike either way, so yeah, we still just click Thunderstrike. Okay, and they stay in, so see you later, Stratosaur. Okay, love to see that, absolutely love to see that. Now I'm going to show Mr. Ruptor, right? I'm assuming they haven't gone into it yet, is because the Kuj has been on the field non-stop. I think we actually live a hit. Uh, well, our health stat doesn't get increased, so there is a decent chance because our health doesn't get increased. I might get one shot by a stab landslide. I'm still going to click Tsunami either way. Dakuda has done a, a, a great job this battle. That has been like threatening basically everything on their team. I mean, even your assault switched into it, and I mean, it, it died, so we're looking pretty good here. Uh, I guess we'll actually see. The Erupted on. Could also be running zero speed. Could be also very, very bulky, potentially. But yeah, I mean, they, they stably ripped it on until the very, very end of the game. So it wasn't worth me just keeping the Kuda not soul bursted just for this one specific situation. It wouldn't have been worth it. And yeah, uh, I actually live that because that was mudslide, not landslide. If he had landslide, I would have actually fainted. Okay, and there is the Terry with still enough energy. Uh, I think we just flail here. I mean, it doesn't really matter where I click. Actually, wait. I'm pretty sure this doesn't increase my damage, but I don't know. J just in case, right? Waiting out the turn. Does the flail KO? I don't think it will. Terry is pretty melee bulky. Oh, that did nothing to it. Oh my god, that, that actually did nothing. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, that's all right. I just have Gargolem now. We just go Gargolem and click Landslide, and that should be the game. Okay, uh, yeah, Solbus Dakuda did a lot of stuff in this battle. I am so glad I've done a few battles, and it's just like the matchups for everything. Like, I battled a Solbus Gastro. I got 1v4 by a Solbus Gastro because I only have range attackers and your snack so uh, yeah we don't talk about that battle you'll never see that'll never see the light of day you'll never see the battle ever <laughs> jumping into the set slun starting off with a fast offensive one first we're running 200 speed tps with a nimble personality to be as fast as possible then we have 200 range attack tps to let us hit as hard as possible 68 energy tps a level 50 gives us a total of 276 energy to use which will let us go for one energize and five thunder strikes or gamma pulses or we can go for two tsunamis and three thunder strikes or gamma pulses, and then the 32 health TPs are then leftovers. For the held item, because we're using the Soul Burst Dakuda, that means we have to run the Deku Burst. Then for the ability, we're running Brute Force to deal as much damage as possible before we Soul Burst, if we want to potentially outspeed something that our Soul Burst version wouldn't be able to. But after we Soul Burst, we'll get the new Railgun ability, which will increase our electric type's attack's power by 50%. And then finally for the moves, we're running Thunderstrike and Tsunami as our strongest stab options, Gamma Pulse as coverage, and Energize to set up to deal even more damage. Although, there are a few other options like Provoke, or you could even go with a mix set with Slapdown, Thunder Crash, Torrential Slash, or even Plunge. And now for the bulky offensive set, which we're running 200 range attack TPs with a smart personality to hit as hard as possible, the 68 energy TPs at level 50 will give us a total of 276 energy to use, which will let us go for 1 energize and 5 thunder strikes or gamma pulses, 
or two tsunamis and three thunder strikes or gamma pulses. The 72 speed TPs lets us outspeed a very smart soul burst eruption before we soul burst. Although, I guess you could run a Nimble personality if you want to outspeed the Nimble Smart Soul Burst of Riptons before we Soul Burst. And then the 160 health TPs are leftovers that will increase our overall bulk. Then for the held item, because we're wanting to use the Soul Burst, that means we'll have to use the Deco Burst. And then for the ability, we're running Brute Force before we Soul Burst to deal as much damage as possible. But then after we Soul Burst, we'll get the Railgun ability which will increase all of our electric type attacks power by 50%. And then finally for the moves, we're running Thunderstrike and Tsunami as our best stab options, a Gamma Pulse as coverage, and Energize to set up to come even bulkier and to deal more damage. Although there are some other options like Provoke, Slapdown, Thunder Crash, Torrential Slash, or even Plunge I guess. 